informally on behalf of Darul Uloom, again join with the rest of the world and uh, the Muslim world and all the Islamic organizations to condemn the terror attack that we would say in Orlando yesterday, yesterday morning. Actually, um, you know, I haven't been here for a few days. I've been in Georgia and Claxton. You know, after having a very wonderful evening, we had a fundraising for a masjid in the entire Georgia. That masjid is called Masjid Mukminin. They have two, three hundred people for Dhuhr Salam Razak on a normal day. You know, on Saturday evening, even the mayor of the town was there. His name is Mayor Ted Terry. And while we were doing the fundraising, I mean, it's the first time I, I saw it happen. The mayor pledged a thousand dollars for the masjid. Not only did he come there to support, so my, my reason for saying this is you do have elected officials who are very much in favor of Muslims and Islam, etc. Here is a mayor who raised his hand to give a thousand dollars to the building of the masjid in addition to his political support for the masjid and the Muslim community. And he himself got up and has been working to, to sponsor Muslim refugees from different countries. So when things like this happen in, in, in Orlando, it's so very devastating and frustrating and depressing. But I want to let our Muslim brothers and sisters know that you know, you've heard it from all the organizations and everyone, that people like Umar Mateen who did this, uh, I would say this hate crime act and terror act by killing so many people does not represent Islam, does not represent Muslims. And we have to say that all the time. Now, I know in addition to condemning these sort of uh, hate crimes and terror attacks and shootings and murders, I want to also share another opinion and view and recommendation, which is that as Muslims, it is not sufficient to only condemn terror attacks. Islamic organizations, mosques, leaders, and imams, we need and they need to start really condemning radicalization. That's very important. Because everywhere you go, you see these guys who have some streak. Yes, we may say they are not this and they are not that, but they are Muslims. So they misrepresent Islam and Muslims, and we are one ummah. It's like a family member who is on drugs. We need to denounce it. We need to let people know we don't support it. And if all the masjids and all the Islamic organizations would start condemning radicalization, and I mean, I travel all over the world, and I'm telling you, there are some crazy guys around. Well, these are you here. I'm sure you guys travel around. There's some, some Muslim guys who are not up there. And they do wrong things and say wrong things and misrepresent us. And if the Muslim leadership do not always, don't wait for an Orlando attack and a 9-11 and a Paris attack, we should at all times, brothers, as you know, we do that here, darling, all the time condemn this sort of extremism and radicalization. So what that will do, the young guys and the people who start thinking on this left track and off track, we can, we would discourage them from trying to think that way and trying to act that way. And maybe inshallah prevent them from doing such things. Because the Prophet wasallam says, when you see something wrong, you must stop it with your hands, speak out against it, or your silence is weakness of Iman. So if the Muslim leadership don't speak out of extremism and radicalization of, that is happening to a lot of young people. And I, I mean, I go to a lot of masjids and lecture. And you could see some guys, they're off track, they're praying, their style, their mentality, their thinking is totally off what the majority of people are on. And if you don't let it be known that we recognize these kind of characters, then they will grow and then they will do mad things like what this guy did. And then we all become hurt. And yeah, we call in press conferences. That doesn't really stop anything, you know. 
Muslims call in person. Brother Mita, with all due respect. We got to do that to be politically correct. Let's be very professional. Press conferences and the whole nine yards, that's a politically correct move. But that does not prevent and stop anything. When an incident happens, the imams in their footballs, the presidents, the leaders, but all the time, discourage this kind of thinking in their centers and in their organizations. So you weaken it. I have always been one speaking out of that. And I used to know the guys who never liked that, they would always condemn me and criticize me, but I didn't care. They were always mental radical guys who would always condemn me for those kind of statements, but I had to just do what I do. And we did what we have to do. So they will not like you, but we need to do what is best for Islam, for the Ummah, and for the betterment of the Deen and the Dawah. Just getting up and saying it's bad doesn't solve it. You know what I'm saying? It's like someone on drugs getting up and saying that's bad, but you don't do things to stop them and prevent them, then we're not really solving the problem. I wanted to make this statement very clear tonight, and uh, I know I took a few minutes from Brother Nizar's time and Brother Umar. Salis, I want to invite Brother Nizar Hamza, the Executive Director of CARE, and Brother Umar Salis, the attorney, to come. I think both of you coming up, yeah, please, to do their presentation here tonight, inshallah.